Good evening, guys. It's uh, almost 9.30 p.m. And I'm actually gonna go take the bus to the train station. I'm leaving Kiev, guys. There doesn't seem to be any cell phone service. I can't call an Uber, so I'm gonna have to take the bus. I just cross the street. I hope this is the right one. There's no way for me to check. I somehow got the LTE back. I think there's a stop just here. It's gonna be the last bus of the night before uh, curfew. So curfew every day is at 11 o'clock p.m. Uh, mandatory, you have to be at home. But the public transport, the metros, the buses, everything, stop running at 9.30. Uh, which means taxis also become very rare and expensive after that thirty. So this is my last chance. This uh, 9:20 p.m. bus is the, my last hope to get to the metro station. Uh, and if not this one, the one right across the street is at 9:27. Which is why I decided to try to take this one. So in case I miss it, uh, I can still maybe try to go there. Wish me luck. Well, that is not it, 62, I'm looking for 24. Guys, I am so cold. It's minus seven today. And I've been standing out of here for five or 10 minutes waiting for the bus. I should have taken an Uber. It, it was not, it's not expensive, it's like three dollars. But I just wanted to take the bus because it's supposed to work if we go straight there. And this bus stops like right around the corner from my house, but. It's, uh, the bus is late. Since this bus is late and didn't show up on time, I'm not gonna risk staying there. I'm gonna go across the street to that bus stop and hope that one actually arrives as scheduled. But if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to take an overpriced taxi. I should've just taken it from the beginning. I don't know why I'm uh, trying to save, uh, trying to save the world by, by taking public transport, especially in the freezing cold. That might be my bus coming now, actually. Okay. The bus is one one four. The bus stop is just in front of me, like 20 meters, so assuming it's gonna come on time, I'll be okay. <laughs> we'll see. Remember that smoke is coming down, or? Google Maps it says it's delayed so it should come in three minutes at 929. That was you, yeah. you know at this point I should just walk two more blocks and go to the metro station but the last one was at 930 so I think I missed it anyways so I'm gonna have to hope that in the distance what I see is bus 114. I I have a good feeling in my I can't see it, my eyes are blurry. Yes, it is. Oh, thank God, guys. So, guys, I'm coming on the bus. We made 
units. And uh, the cost of only I think, 8 or 10 grid which is like 30 cents. So actually 10 times cheaper than the taxi or, or less. So I guess in that sense it's worth it, but at the same time, it's not like I can't afford a $3 taxi. I just like using public transport wherever possible. I feel like more with people. Uh, and it's you know, better for the environment. It's just, it's just good kind of all around. But I probably wouldn't do it again in minus seven on the last uh, train. This car gets too close. I think that might have been my stop and had to get off. Hopefully, this wasn't too far. The place is super full now. <laughs> Guys, I just fucked myself. I missed my, my station. And now the bus is going super far away, so I'm gonna have a long walk back in the cold with no taxis. Fucked. Time to slow down, I hope, I'm hoping the bus will stop. Guys, I'm like super far away now. Fucking shit. I don't, you know what it is? I can see it, but it's like probably 10 minute walk away now. I think what happened was there's two sides to the train station, and there's one side that I'd never see because I never go that way, and that's where it stops. I was kind of hoping it would go to the other side, but it didn't. <clears throat> so I screwed up, guys, but at least it's. Uh, at least it's just a walk. I, I, I can do it. Definitely, I regret not taking a three dollar taxi now. But, well, now it's gonna be a ten dollar taxi if I if I wanted to take it. You can see it in the distance, actually. But at the same time, you can also see the Mount Everest in the distance. Doesn't mean it's that close. Oh, well, looks like it's all set. Alright guys, after it wasn't that far. It was like a 10 minute ice cold hike. We made it guys. Sit in front of me. Some trains taking off. Let's see if any restaurants coffee shops open up. That's good news. Anything else? Maybe this uh B P S. What's crazy is Kiev used to be a very lively city at night before the war started, before the curfew. And now everything shuts by 9.30, sometimes 10, the latest. I'm exactly 10.02 right now. So McDonald's is closed. Let's check this shawarma shop. The takeaway is open, that's good at least. Let's see if this indoor shawarma one's open. It'd be nice to go inside. But it looks like they're closed. Till 9.30. All right, take away shawarma it is. Uh, the big one. One big one, yeah. With uh, potatoes also. Yes. Uh, no cheese. But uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Alright, so this shawarma that we're making, and I'm happy to open it. Oh, professional. I'm happy these shops still open as well. Buy some water. Alright, finally at the train station. And I'm about an hour and a half until my you know, an hour twenty until my actual train leaves. It's not early. Alright, here's 
that beautiful tree that we've seen. Uh, this is actually the one of the only Christmas trees in Kiev. Some of the other cities actually had nice trees this year, but uh, because of the war, this was the main one actually in Kiev this year. So even though it's almost a month later, it's still nice to see it. Now I just need to see where my bus, I mean my train is uh, going. So I guess I'm too early, where they're not showing the track yet, so let's hang out for a bit. Last thing the supermarket is open actually. Probably have 20 or 30 minutes before they even show what track mine is, and I have an hour before it takes off. So I'm gonna sit here by this uh, overdue Christmas tree and have my shawarma. I'm happy to, to know that this is still working, even though it's so late. It's necessary though, so I'm glad there it's working. I can tell that this probably isn't the best shawarma in the world, but because I'm so cold, I'm so hungry, it tastes amazing, guys. Like there's almost barely anything in it, except for cabbage. It's a very little chicken, but it's so tasty because it's warm. This is for breakfast, guys. Alright, my train leaves in exactly one hour. So let's see if the track is open yet, or announced at least. I love this guys. These are the future routes of Ukraine when it's free again. Greeted with a flurry of national flags and tears, Ukrainians arrived in the newly liberated city of Kherson by train Saturday, the first time in more than eight months. For some, the journey marked a long overdue return home after Ukrainian forces liberated the city from Russian occupation just over a week ago. The big welcome came even as the city remains largely without electricity or running water. Can't wait to, to take these. There's a lot of people waiting for these rails. Hopefully it'll be coming soon. There's a really beautiful map as well of all Ukraine, including the currently occupied areas. Uh, this is Kharkiv that's been liberated already, but now we still have the Donbass area, Lukashansk, Donetsk, and you can see that people write notes that are from these areas. And all the way even down to uh, Crimea. So I just realized there's a whole other area that actually has hot food and chairs, which is really nice. I wish I knew about this earlier. Just so sitting on the floor eating my cold charla. Well, unfortunately, I'm full now, but it looks like. They have a uh, hot sandwiches, croissants. This looks pretty good. There's even a little play area for kids. That's cool. Well, guys, I decided to sit for a little bit and check some uh, messages, but I think it's uh, almost time. It's 11, so hopefully it's open. Here's a little screen here. Track number eight. <laughs> All these bases are open. I'm surprised. Even this little souvenir place is open. More seats up here. 
There you go. Here we go. It's from Kiev to Kapodoski. I think the train might have just arrived, but they're not reporting yet. Guys, it is absolutely freezing here. Like, I should have stayed in hall three where it was actually warm, but hopefully in 10 or 20 minutes I can get on the train and uh, get ready for bed. I'm just tired and exhausted. There's no, there's no power, so we're on backup power now. Waiting for the train to come. I think my flash was so dark. Say somewhere? Okay. Um, which number? Skoka? What? Which car is this? No, what number? Uh, six. Number six. Six and where is five? There? Or? Five is this. Here? Yeah, cool. So we'll go this way. Here's number five of people it's minus seven out here so hopefully it won't take too long Please, the bathroom is unlocked. Guys, we just got off at Kamietz Podolski. 
little city, little town in uh, southwest Ukraine. So, good morning guys from Kamdets Podolsky. Never been here before, but it's supposed to be a very beautiful, historic town uh, in southwest Ukraine, almost near the border of Moldova. Be meeting some someone. I don't know where or who, whom. I was also hoping to be warmer here because it's a bit more south, but it's still minus three degrees, so it's freezing, uh, and it feels more humid as well. So compared to Kiev's minus seven, I, I would say it's, it's almost the same. But uh, let's uh, try to find uh, these people or at least some coffee. Here and hopefully there's some coffee because there's no coffee shops anywhere in this little little town nearby all right well that guy just told me it's closed so i can either walk a few blocks to a coffee shop or just wait around hoping that the person i'm supposed to meet is actually going to pick me up who knows maybe that's even them here now because they pull me up right on me nope. i don't know maybe This is them here now, guys, actually. Not the uh, Mercedes, but the Skoda, the, the dogs on it. It's the door. That door? Okay. So it's a sub Okay, go be right, knock. Like Angela is joking that we ordered a recipe before, just before you're coming. <laughs> 